When you get started investing, one of the biggest things that you wanna understand is what are the best places to actually put your money and which apps will help me become a better investor. So today we're gonna to talk about the nine best investment apps for this year. Now there's a couple of requirements that I'm looking for when it comes to investment apps. The first one is having fractional shares. So when you're a new investor, a lot of times you wanna get as many dollars into the companies that you like as possible. And sometimes that's not possible when you're looking at companies companies like Amazon, Google, where they have really high market caps. So what happens is the price per share goes up, maybe it's $2,000, $3,000, $4,000, and it's difficult for new investors to get their dollars into those shares. That's where fractional shares come in because fractional shares allow you to buy a smaller portion of each share. So you can buy half a share, quarter of a share, whatever you have so that you can get those dollars started and get them invested. The next key thing is access to investments. So you wanna make sure that the brokerages that you choose, the apps that you choose, are the ones that are gonna give you the best access to the investments that you want. So which brokerages have access to a number of different investments so that whatever way you like to invest, you can still put your dollars into that brokerage. Another one is fees, because you don't wanna be paying high fees when it comes to your brokerage. If they're nickel and diming you left and right, that's going to add up over time, and it's less money that you can get into your investments so you can get those dollars working and creating freedom for you. So making sure that you find brokerages with low to no fees, preferably, is incredibly important. So that's what we're gonna go through today when we go through these nine investment apps so that you can check out which one is the best for you. So the first one is M1 Finance. Now M1 Finance is an awesome app that you can utilize to start investing your dollars and it's great for beginners. It's one of the sleekest apps out there because it actually looks modern and updated. But in addition, it's got some really cool features that I think a lot of new investors will like. One of which is their Pi system. So when you invest your dollars, what it does is it puts together a pie so you can see your asset allocation or where you have your dollars allocated on a really cool pie chart. And what they also have are curated pies. And curated pies are things where you can invest in certain industries so that if you're interested in something specific, then they have these pies in place and you're investing in a number of different companies just like many mutual funds. And they allow you to do what's best for you so that you can find the right balance with your investments. Now, M1 Finance has a number of things. They do have retirement accounts where you can open a Roth IRA at M1 Finance. They have standard brokerage accounts, and they also have some banking features as well. So you can expand out just from the investments with M1 Finance, and it's one of the best ways to just get started for new investors. So check out the link below if you're interested in M1 Finance. That is an affiliate link, but it's a great app for beginners to start with. Now, the second one is Fidelity. Now, Fidelity is a great place to put your money. Fidelity offers fractional shares. It allows you to invest your dollars and has a very wide range of investments. And in addition, Fidelity has great ETFs and their own index funds as well. And they're famous for having zero-based index funds, meaning they don't charge fees for their index funds and they still have fantastic returns. So Fidelity is a great place. It's a place where I have a standard brokerage account there and I've had it for years. It's actually the first account I've ever opened. Now Fidelity's app isn't as sleek as something like M1 Finance or some of these other options as well, but it's got a great well-balanced app that allows you to still navigate fairly easily and you can invest in the standard stocks that you want. They have a ton of investment options at Fidelity, so it's a great place to look at as well. Now, the next one is Vanguard. Now, Vanguard is one that is on this list because Vanguard has fantastic ETFs and mutual funds. And Vanguard's been around for a very long time as well. And you can't go wrong with Vanguard. Vanguard's not gonna nickel and dime and try to steal your dollars from you. But in addition, the downside to Vanguard is that they're not as well innovated on the technology side. So their app looks like it's from 1975. The internet wasn't even around in 1975, but that's what it looks like. And in addition, they really need to update some of their technology. So Vanguard is a fantastic place where it has amazing investment options, but if you're looking for a sleek dashboard or you're looking for a more updated way to learn how to invest, then Vanguard may not be the best option for you. Now, Vanguard has some of the best index funds in the industry. It has some of the best, by far the best ETFs in the industry, in my opinion. So looking at Vanguard for those options 
is great, but you can buy those ETFs on other platforms as well. So the next one is great if you just wanna dip your toes in the water and see what this investing thing is all about. And it's Acorns. Now, Acorns is a great way to invest spare change. So the way this works is, let's say for example, that you spend $9.75 for lunch. So what Acorns does is it rounds up to the next dollar and invests those dollars. So it would take 25 cents in our example of $9.75, it would round up 25 cents to $10 and it would take that 25 cents and invest those dollars. So every transaction you make, it would round up and take the spare change and allow you to invest that money. This can really add up over time. And if you're really new to investing and you're trying to figure out, do I wanna invest or you're nervous about investing, this is a great way to get started because you can watch your dollars compound and pile up. And in addition, this is all automated. So they take your spare change, do this for you, and you can pick different kinds of portfolios. You can do whatever you want. This is a great way to dip your toes in the water. And they have a fantastic app that shows you over time how your portfolio is growing, how much money you've actually deposited, your return rate, all of that good stuff as well. So Acorns is a fantastic option, especially if you're just starting out or you just wanna get extra dollars invested without having to feel it. Maybe you struggle with saving up every single month. Well, Acorns is a fantastic option for that because it allows you to do that without having to feel any pain because it's just rounding up for you every single time you spend money. So the next one is public. And public is one that I opened an account within the last year and I really enjoy public. Public is very cool. So what public is, is it's basically social media media for investing. So you have options to invest all over public. You can do fractional shares. You have a bunch of really good options. You can buy stocks. And in addition, you can buy ETFs and things like that as well. But the way public works is it's actually community based. I think it's really cool. So you can see people in your community or you can see celebrities as well that are on public and what they're investing in. So for example, just yesterday, I used public to buy some shares of Target. And what happens is you have a news feed similar to Facebook, Instagram, whatever else you use that shows, hey, Andrew just bought bought some shares of Target. Now you can't see how many shares I bought or anything like that, but it shows that you bought Target. Now you can make this private as well. So if you wanna be private or anything like that, you don't have to show that, but it's a very cool way to show, hey, what are my friends investing in? Why are they investing in that? And you can talk about different reasons why. In addition, the cool thing about public is they have a bunch of education tools. So there are speakers that will come on to public and you can watch them talk about investing. And they also have many courses and different guides and things like that as well. So public is great for new investors as well because they have so many cool options. So check out my link below if you wanna check out public. The downside to public, and one thing I wanna mention is they don't have retirement accounts. So these are just standard brokerages. So make sure you know that going in. If you're looking for something with a retirement account, then some of these other options may be better for you. But check out public if you like that social aspect of investing, because it's a very cool aspect and helps keep you motivated over time. The next one is one that's great for US and international investors as well, and it's Webull. Now, Webull is very cool, and it's a newer app that came out, I think, in 2017. And Webull is one where you can actually trade options, you could trade ETFs, you could trade traditional stocks as well. And if you're into trading, if you're into day trading or trading short term, meaning less than a year, then Webull is a really cool option because it has a ton of different different metrics and charts that you can look at. And what I like about Webull is all the tools that it has. So it has a really cool app, a very modern app that allows you to look at so many different chart metrics. So if you're really advanced in your investing, it's actually a pretty cool way to invest your dollars. In addition, if you're into options, if options are your thing, then Webull is a great app for options because it has so many different option tools on there. Now, if you're interested in Webull, they also have retirement accounts. Now, retirement accounts aren't something that I would open at Webull. I would look at some other options like M1 Finance or Fidelity or some of these other options as well, because I think it's better for trading. And if you're interested in Webull, you can get a couple of free stocks using my link below. So make sure you check that out as well. So the next one is by far the best one for kids, and it's called Greenlight. Now, if you've never heard of Greenlight, it is a really, really cool way, if you have kids, to get them into learning about their money. Not only can you pay your kids for chores on Greenlight, it's a banking system, you can get them a debit card, but in addition, you can actually teach your kids about investing and invest dollars for your kids on 
Greenlight. Greenlight is such a cool platform and it has such a cool app. So some of the cool things about Greenlight is that you can buy fractional shares. So say for example, your kids are really into Marvel. You can show them, hey, you can buy the company that owns Marvel, which is Disney, in the app and they can buy fractional shares. Maybe it's five, 10, 15, $20 and they can start to be a part owner of Marvel and Disney. So this is an incredibly cool way to teach your kids about investing. In addition, you can start doing banking with them as well. They have systems set up where you can pay them every single week for doing their chores and all these other very cool features. Now the downside to Greenlight is it does have a monthly fee. It doesn't have any hidden fees, but it does have a monthly fee of $7.98 per month, especially if you want the investing options. So make sure you keep that into consideration. But if you're gonna use it to pay chores and different things like that, it's definitely worth that fee for all the features that it allows you to do because no other bank can do some of the things that it can do on Greenlight. So if you wanna teach your kids about investing, there's a bunch of educational tools that are tailored around kids so that it gets them motivated and excited to actually learn more about investing as well. So if you're interested in Greenlight, check out the link below and there's some cool features that you get with that link as well. And let me know what you think about it because I absolutely love this app. I absolutely love the idea and the things that Greenlight is pushing forward with financial literacy and financial education. So make sure you check it out, especially if you have kids. Number eight is my favorite app for crypto. And right now it's the one I'm using, which is called Coinbase. Now Coinbase is the biggest crypto platform that's out there right now. That's why I use it because I'd rather have a bigger platform than some of these smaller platforms in the market. And Coinbase lets you invest in all different types of cryptocurrency. Now, if there's a very small niche cryptocurrency, it may not have it on Coinbase and you may have to find it another way, but Coinbase has all the main big cryptocurrencies within their database. And it's very easy to use. It's very easy to navigate. In addition, they have educational tools if you wanna learn more about crypto. Coinbase will pay you rewards for learning more about crypto because they wanna spread education in the space so that people can learn more and invest more dollars into crypto on their platform. So check out my link below if you wanna start learning and earning money in crypto because it's one of the best ways to do this. And then the last one on my list, only because I know people are gonna ask about it, is Robinhood. Now, I am not a fan of Robinhood. The reason why is because they halted gaming with the GameStop issue, and I just don't think it's a great company. But I cannot neglect the fact that Robinhood is super easy to use. And if Robinhood didn't have that issue, or it's just harder for me to trust them, then they would probably be really high on this list. But I had to put them at the very end because of how easy it is to use. Now, Robinhood has fractional shares. They're obviously the leader in fractional shares. They don't charge fees, things like that as well. So check out my link below if you want a free stock from Robinhood, you want to check it out because it is very easy to navigate. Listen, I hope you guys enjoyed this list on some of the best stock trading apps. Now, listen, some of the best ways to do this is just try out a bunch of apps, see which ones work for you and diversify your apps. I have an account on all of these and you don't have to have an account on all these, but what you can do is diversify the way that you invest your dollars and the apps that you utilize to see which ones fit your best style. Maybe have your Roth IRA in one, have a traditional brokerage in another, have your trading account in another one, just so you can get all the amazing features of each one. If you have any questions about these apps, leave them down below. What are some of your favorite apps? Leave them in the comments below as well. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel as well. I appreciate each and every one of you and we will see you on the next video.